We acknowledge the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and their continuing connection to land and community. We pay our respect to them and their cultures and to the elders both past, present and emerging. Wick country is big, it's really big, and the environmental challenges on this country are just as big. We've been working in collaboration with APN for the past 10 years to tackle some of these important challenges. One of the big ones has been protecting marine turtles from the predation of feral pigs. We've measured up to 100% of nests being predated upon by feral pigs. The big problem with tackling these really big environmental challenges on such vast country is that often you only get a small chance for each year to try and come up with new solutions and test them. This is really hard when you're talking about millions of hectares of land and limited resources. So for the past few years, we've been thinking about different novel ways in which we might be able to test different methods of land management without having all the risks and challenges of actually doing it on the ground. And one of the things we thought might be useful is to try out computer games. And amazingly, in this project, we got the chance to do it. And it's been some of the most fun I've had in my job. In this project, we used WIC Country as the backdrop and WIC Rangers as the stars of the game to develop a game in which the player has to try and protect marine turtles from feral pigs. The fantastic thing about this game is that the land managers of the future are the WIC kids that are in primary school now. And for them to have some skills and some really deep thinking about how you might protect these threatened species is a fantastic thing for the future of land management on this country. Over the years, APN has found that our greatest asset in these types of programs are our partnerships. Without our partners, this type of ability to create innovative ways to transmit culture, educate children about conservation of turtles, and to see children understand that these are ways that they can actually create livelihoods in the future wouldn't be able to happen. In the same way, science is really being supported by the Indigenous Land and Sea Management by APN Rangers and the complex understanding of the ecosystem of their homelands that they've had in their traditional knowledge systems for time immemorial. APN works at the intersection of cultures, Wick and Kugel culture and Western culture and we also work at the intersection of technology, traditional and analogue technologies with digital technology. Going forward, we understand that these types of games and tool sets are much more important to making sure that conservation of country in the future is evidenced by great data, good digital tools and a generation of digitally skilled children that have opportunities to work in land and sea conservation. Hi, I'm Mike Gregory, Project Manager for the Nest of Ocean Turtle Protection Program. I work for the Department of Environment and Science in the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service. There are six species of marine turtle that nest along the Queensland coast. All six species are considered threatened. One of the key threats to marine turtle nesting is from feral animals. In Queensland, that species such as the wild pig. The Nest to Ocean Turtle Protection Program was established in 2014 to provide grant funding to community groups across Queensland to address this threat. One of the key objectives of the program was to engage First Nations groups. This has enabled capacity building, employment opportunities, and engaging with their local knowledge and experience. In the last round of funding, the criteria was changed to enable some more innovative and novel solutions to some of these issues. We've been really impressed with the products and myself and my colleagues really look forward to seeing the project in action and how it goes in the next few years. Being approached to be the development partners with Justin, Mel and the team was incredibly exciting for two moves. As we began our partnership, we rallied around co-design inceptions, working through the ideas coming from the APN Rangers, the CSIRO, Nailsma and Two Moves. Working together, we were able to first identify the style of game that matched the content best. With a small time frame, it was incredibly important to build in an agile fashion. That meant ideating and turning those ideas into bite-sized buildable segments that would create a minimum viable product each week as a form of delivery. 
This was important as it allowed us to build, release and iterate quickly to build on the idea through constant feedback loops between two moves, Justin, Mel and the APN Rangers. So how did we do this? Well, in the first week, the team built in movement, the eggs, the bike and the win-loose functionality. This meant we could get feedback on how the controls felt and initial thoughts around the timing of the game. In the second week, the team built in the pigs and their artificial intelligence meaning we could get feedback around the core conflict in the game and how their behaviour worked. In the third week, the team built in the traps, tools and resource collection, as well as the first version of the finalised map that had been defined between both teams. This allowed for feedback on how the visuals looked and aligned with the actuality of Arakun land and its expected landmarks. In the fourth week, the team built in the flora and fauna of the land to bring life to the world beyond just the mechanics. This allowed for feedback around the final look and feel of the product. And lastly, in week 5, the team focused on bugs, more polish and game balancing, all of which was closely tied with feedback from Justin, Mel and the Rangers. Through this constant set of meetings, feedback and iteration, the teams were able to bring to life the land of Arakun and the life of a junior ranger. Our success was led by the constant communication and the timeliness in response from both teams. But beyond anything else, it was the trust the team shared across their fields of expertise. Each team was willing to yield and trust decisions being made by the other, which led to a much faster and seamless build experience. It has been a pleasure to work with Justin, Mel and the Rangers of APN, bringing such a wonderful slice of life with real world applications into the universe. My name is Dr. Cathy Robinson. I'm a research scientist at Australia's National Science Organisation, the CSIRO. This collaboration has not only encouraged kids to play a fun game to learn about their country, it's also helped Indigenous kids build their digital literacy skills. Learning through a game helps play a pivotal role in closing persistent digital skill gaps for Indigenous people across Australia and in other parts of the world. We know that digital literacy and data management skills is critical for our future workforce. And we also know Indigenous people are looking to find ways to learn these skills to support their land management activities and priorities. CSIRO is proud to be part of this innovative approach to conservation and paying attention to some of the Indigenous digital co-benefits as part of this effort. Core to this game and this collaboration is to support APN to develop digital skills and capacity that stays in the community and helps care for their country.